Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing another nail video for you guys and in this nail video, I am going to be trying out these nails from KISS. It's from their classy nails um, line and I wanted to try these ones out because these were very similar to the clutch nails that I had tried a few weeks back and I loved, you know, the pink ombre um, but I didn't really like the nails overall from clutch nails so i wanted to, to find something that was very similar and these are like the most similar that i could find like in style um the length is a little bit longer on this one um but that's pretty much the only difference um but yeah let's just get right into this video Okay, so I am going to be opening the box and when I open the packaging, I do show you guys that you get, you know, a nail glue and then you'll get the wooden cuticle stick and the little mini nail file. And then after that, I am going to be sizing the nails to my nail beds. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to, um, I guess talk throughout this video um because it's pretty self-explanatory and um yeah i'll just be popping in if i have anything to say or if i have any thoughts Okay, so once I have all my nails lined up and they're properly sized to my own nails, I am going to rough up my nail beds. Um, before this step, I did off camera push back my cuticles and dehydrate my nails with rubbing alcohol. Now the rubbing alcohol, it is totally personal preference it is optional but for me i find it doesn't matter if i do nail polish um, gel polish or dip powder or even fake nails i always have to take that extra step to dehydrate my nails just so that way there's no lifting and the nails and whatever nail product that i use on my nails last a whole lot longer but like i said that is optional um, you should always push back your cuticles before you do anything that also helps with um, lifting and just having your nails last longer Okay, so once I'm done prepping my nails, I am going to go ahead and glue these nails onto my nails. So when I applied these nails, I definitely did use just a little bit too much glue. I think one or two drops, well, no, two drops on your actual nail and then maybe one or two drops on the fake nail is a good sufficient amount of glue, but I was watching a movie and I was kind of going, you know, glue crazy, but you know, that's okay. We're fine. It's fine. We're just going to roll with it. Anywho, I press down the nail for five seconds and then I add 10 to 15 seconds um, extra. So that way I really know that the glue and the nail was really stuck on my nail. So, you know, I make sure that it's not going anywhere because I want to have these last for quite a while. And 
and this is how the nails look or the nail looks up close um, so I want to really um, quickly mention like do a little quick comparison um, for these nails and the clutch nails so these ones are, are a lot more natural looking they don't look like it's obvious that I'm wearing plastic on my nails um, they're also a little bit more thinner so that was kind of the one thing that was bothering me for clutch nails also was that they were thick <laughs> they they did not look as natural as they claimed they were going to look um, especially since I tried these ones out from kiss and these ones look a lot natural and these ones I did mention they are thinner but they're just as strong and and I also cut these down you'll see that that I cut these down and these are strong so I think I'm gonna give you my quick verdict right now I do like these so far from kiss and i don't know if i'd ever buy the pink ombre ones from clutch ever again but that's just my opinion um, i will be giving you my final thoughts at the end of the video Okay, so here are the nails. They're really long. I did not think that they were this long. Um, so I do decide to cut them down. I was, you know, going back and forth if I should um, cut them down or keep them this length, but I do have kids still in car seats and nails in car seats, long nails specifically in car seats just don't go together. I might have to buy like a contraption thingy, a thingy um, to help me unbuckle my kids car seats um if i ever want my nails to be this long because i do like long nails i really do um but when i had the clutch nails on and i kept the the length it was difficult so this time i just decided to put these to the test and see if i could cut them down and see if they won't ruin you know like the design especially and also because i couldn't function you know uh, unbuckling my kids from the car seats but yeah so i didn't have any problem you know cutting these down and reshaping them they did perfectly fine and they still look pretty they still they still looked really pretty and i like them short or long you know that's just it's just also a preference if you want them short or long these are customizable 
So after I apply my nails, I do wait at least one hour before I apply any lotion, um, nail oils, and I do try not to get my nails wet just so that way I know that the glue is 100% completely dried. So let's get on to the wear test portion of this video. So quick personal side note, I do like how um, the ombre looks on these kiss nails, then the clutch nails, these do um, fade from like a pink to a white really well. I just feel like the pink ombre ones from clutch nails, they were designed well um, but then you know when I really see these ones in comparison these ones are just I love them I just love everything about them from how they look in the style and how they fade from like a pink to a white just cohesively and yeah Okay, so on day four, my index fingers and my thumbnails were rounding out naturally due to wear. So I just rounded out all my other nails a bit to kind of look the same. So between day four and day five with the clutch nails, there was a lot of wear at the tips. Um, there was some chipping, like actually the top layer of the nail, some of the nails were chipping off. So these ones, in comparison, these ones are strong. I did not see any chipping at all. And there was seriously minimal wear at the tips, only on a few nails, like my index fingers, obviously, um, and my thumbs. Those are like my, my most used fingers. So that was it. These held up, um, they were stuck. Um, like the clutch nails, the glue was amazing. The glue in, for kiss nails are amazing. I only had a problem with, you know, like chipping and the nails for clutch not really looking natural, as natural as these. So I definitely would recommend these to you guys if you ever want like pink ombre nails or a baby boomer nails. These are it. I love these. I will definitely be purchasing these again because I love them so, so much. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but they did last the full seven days and I think they could have lasted a couple more days after that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet or if you are new, please consider subscribing before you leave. Your love and your support really means a lot to me. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you guys are notified when my videos do go up. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.